All right, we are back and we are working on Brody's back leg. The one thing that I want you to realize is that, you know, they're not necessarily as long as you think they are. He does not carry a heavy skirt, so we want to keep his legs kind of tidied up and clean. The other thing part of his legs is behind the back part and the curtain. What I like to do before I get started is get my 45 tooth blenders and clean up from the pin bones right here. So anything above the pin bone goes, anything below it stays, and that's part of your curtain. So I'm going to blend this off so that everything's nice and tidy and you've got that nice curtain. Now as far as the muscling goes, I'm going to take and I'm going to continue right around that thigh and just blend that in so that when I look over the dog, I have a nice clean overview. Everything's laying into place. Now, what do you do with all this mess? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is blend it a little bit. I'm going to kind of stack it out, make it look natural, but I'm leaving the hair from the back. I'm only going up the sides and combing it to where I blended. And then I'm going to take the front and I'm going to comb it back to where I blended as well, but more on the angle. This is from a 60 degree angle from the stifle to the hawk. So I'm going to follow that angle and I'm going to come in here with my blenders and cut. And that's going to lay that coat angled right up to the center. Um, I'm going to lift it, make sure my overview is clean. And then whatever I've done here, I'm going to go on the inside of the leg and clean that up as well. So we're going to come in here and blend and get rid of that, okay? And that's going to finish it off and, and bring that right into that center focal point. All right? So that is our back leg. Just make sure that you leave the curtain. Make sure that you get some sort of angulation blending into the skirt. Thanks.